I am um, a parent of a child that has been attending Mercy Care for Kids for the last four years. We have, we've had three attend this facility, but currently it's one. We're a part of a hospital organization um, serving mainly um, hospital and essential worker employees. I have actually been with Mercy Cares for Sick Kids 26 years. I was the assistant director for 11 and I have been the director for the last 13 years. Um, during that time I've seen a great deal of change in what is expected to happen inside a child care center and Quality Stars has helped direct us in the right way to meet the needs of changing families and the changing environment that we are, we're living in. We have actually kept our enrollment down this year to meet the needs of the infants that are here. If we had eight infants in here now, these teachers would have much more difficulty doing what we're asking them to do. Um, so you can see there's a lot of hands-on care. It's uh, pretty intense and it's so needed at this age group. I've been here for 21 years. I am an infant too and the kids are 21. The first one today is one, one of our babies. We do reading, playing with them with different toys. If the weather is nice, we go on the playground, we go on the garden. They love dancing. They do love dancing. We put music all the time. Every day, our teachers provide lesson plans for the children in their classroom, from infant to pre-K. We keep anecdotal records on all of the children so we can do assessments of their skill development. So if we see a weakness or an area of strength, we can add to that in the program. So it's a daily assessment and it's a weekly planning session. So even our infants, it's planned how often they'll be in a bouncer, how often they'll be on the floor, what will happen when they're on the floor, how do we encourage the crawling, how do we encourage walking when it starts walking. Um, when a child's language developments, how do we continue to build on that language development within the need of it, every individual child? It's not a group plan, it's an individual plan. Um, I'm a head teacher in Waddler 2. Uh, the age is between the ages of one and two. So right now we're doing fruits and veggies. Um, the kids are learning about it um, through like when they eat meals. So we do a lot of fruits and vegetables uh, during meal times to get a lot of healthy meals. Um, they're learning memorization skills, um, brain development. Most brain development takes place between birth and five years old. Children need all of their social emotional development, their physical development, their um, educational development starts in our infant rooms when they're teach reading to them, when they're giving them what's called tummy time. Each and every age group builds on what is needed for a child to be successful when they leave our care and go off to school. Um, it's imperative that we keep funding to keep our infant and young toddler programs running smoothly so that when we have children that are prepared to be successful. As we all know, most daycare centers closed in March. We needed to be here to make sure that the patients across the street were provided care while their parents weren't worried about what was happening with their children. So each and every day we've sort of knocked on wood and been thankful that we've made it through another day without a situation at the center that would need us to close. Um, the support from our Quality Star Specialists, the support from our St. Peter's um, Hospital Management has been invaluable in making that possible. I think, I think the importance of child care has really been highlighted in people's minds because of this. Um, we always knew it was important, but we thought it was more like, oh, we just sent drop our kids off and they babysit. I think people really realize now we drop our children off and there's a plan of how to manage them and how to teach them and how to keep them happy and how to keep them um, developing in the appropriate way without feeling the stress of what's around us. Um, we wouldn't be able to have two people working in the family if there wasn't you know, a child care facility close by that, that was high quality like this. Um, this program um, is a group of um, highly skilled professionals who um, really um, work with the kids in this critical phase of child development and give them every opportunity um, that they need to grow into the little human beings that they are. It's amazing what, um, what they are being offered here.